In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I use pyrography and paint to complete this pair of cardinals. I start by using a flat shading tip on my wood burner to get rid of any lines or imperfections I may have left behind with when I carved it. I use a similar technique on the talons of each cardinal, slowly and carefully pressing out any marks that I left over from when I carved and giving a nice texture, like a charred texture that will kind of stand out different than the texture of the feathers that I'll eventually burn in. Next I switch over to my skew tip for my burner and I use that to kind of define the pattern that I've already established with the carving. As you can see I'm taking slow kind of like curved lines um, and what that will do is it gives the impression that the feathers are there and as I mentioned I have already established the directionality of all the feather patterns uh, as you can see as I zoom out. Next I use the, the skew to define the lines of the individual wing feathers. And then I'll go back over in the shoulder and give that textured, small, almost like hair-like feathers. And I'll continue that texture throughout the bird. Sped up, it seems like this process is fairly quick, but as you can see, it's actually a really slow, tedious process, but I, I enjoy it. I put on some good music, and I feel like the effect of that texture really gives life to the carving. Moving on to the male cardinal, I'm always mindful about the direction of the feather pattern that I already carved in. This will prevent it from looking too uniform. Now that the bird texture is complete, I can move on to the branch. Similar to the feather direction that I carved in, I did the same thing with the branch. As you could see, I kind of carved in where the bark will be separating from the wood, and now I'm just using the burner to give the texture to the bark. And you gotta be really careful when working on a carving like this. As you can see, I kind of knocked off one of the, um, one of the, the legs of the bird as I was trying to get in there behind it with, and give some texture to the bark. But some super glue did the trick and you can't even tell once it's back together. The last step before I begin painting is to draw on the veins on all the leaves. Then I use my wood burning tool and just trace over those lines and that will give the leaves some nice texture for when I paint it. I begin painting concentrating on the branch that the cardinals are sitting on. I use dark brown on the branch where the bark is peeled away. To get the colors of the bark just right, I found this piece of an oak branch in my yard and used that as a reference. It was really helpful to match the gray tone of the oak branch. And using a dry brush technique, I added highlights of white to the bark. To start painting the cardinals, I use black in the eyes and around the beak where that characteristic band is always found on cardinals. I also use black on the tips of the wings, along the back, and a really washed down black to create shadows where I've already carved in layers of feathers and any ruffles in the bird. I use an orange red to paint the beak. And unfortunately, when I went to paint the cardinal red, I forgot to hit record. Uh, but as you can see, I went all around, um, made sure all, all parts of it were red. And to be honest, I wasn't crazy about the way it came out. But being kind of tired that night, I knew that when I painted the female, 
I would just be able to touch up the male. So I start her the same way, using black on the eyes, around the beak, and created shadows anywhere on the wings, and feather patterns that I already carved in. I also use black on the talons as a base coat that I'll go over later with lighter colors. I paint the beak the same way using an orange and red. Female cardinals have a lot of subtle colors in them. There's lots of grays and browns and light shades of red and orange even. So I start by going over uh, with a light, really washed out gray and most of the head and shoulder are gray and then there's also various spots around the body like under the wing, uh, the tail feathers. Uh, I use gray and even some brown to kind of go in of uh, any of the shadows that I carved in. So after I finish the different shades of gray and brown, I move on to adding some red to the feathers on the wings and on most female cardinals there's little streaks of red on the top of the feathers on their head. So I use a really light wash and I use that same light wash behind her eye. And I'm careful not to go too dark with this red or too saturated. It should just really be a subtle look. The next step is to start preparing a dark red, almost like a black, to complete the shadows and tail feathers. And as you'll notice, I'm using the same color on the female feathers and then I'm going back and touching up the feathers on the male cardinal uh, that came out just way too light in my opinion. Once I'm happy with the touch-ups on the male cardinal, I go back to the female and use a washed out cream to just completely paint over the chest and remaining areas of her feathers. I then use a light brown to accentuate some of the shadows and textures that I carved in. To paint the leaves, I use a dark green mixed with brown. As you'll notice, some of the leaves are kind of turned up so you can see the bottom of them. So I was just careful to make sure that I used the dark green on the tops of the leaves. I then went around on all the edges of the leaves and painted them green. To paint the underside of the leaves, I used a green mixed with some white and some blue to give that difference in color. I also used some browns and yellows on the edges of the leaves. Going back to the talons, I use some whites and browns to lightly go over and then use a clean brush to add texture and some character to each talon. Next I add just a touch of white to his eye to give that impression that there's actually light reflecting from his eye. Moving over, I do the same thing to the female, adding just a touch of white as I'm painting, I notice that some of the gray when I painted the feathers kind of splashed onto the eyeball. So I just give it a little touch of black to even it out. The last step is to use some clear nail polish. Uh, obviously, I make sure all the paint is dry, and this helps give a glossy, lifelike appearance to the eyes. So I know burning and painting the carving can kind of seem like a long and tedious process, but for me it's actually really relaxing and enjoyable, and I think it helps bring the carving to life. Well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again.